Hi, I'm veterinarian Dr. Liz Bales. I've devoted my career to the health and well-being of cats. As a cat lover, I know that you've devoted yourself to cats, too. But what I'm about to tell you might surprise you. How you feed your cat is just as important as what you feed your cat. For cats, hunting is the ultimate in environmental enrichment. But instead, we feed our cats like dogs, from a heaping stationary bowl slid tightly up against the kitchen wall once or twice a day. We all know that cats are not small dogs, so why are we feeding them like one? Modern life with a cat has its downsides. If you've ever had a cat, you'll recognize these. They gobble up their food and then throw it right back up. We call it scarf and barf. They go to the bathroom outside the litter box, wake you up in the early morning hours to be fed, attack your toes and ankles and other human body parts. They fight with their cat housemates, sometimes wreck the furniture, and a lot of them now are just getting fat and sleeping all day. Although these are common cat problems, they're actually not normal, and they don't have to be an accepted part of living with a cat. Veterinary science knows why cats do these things. We, the cat lovers, are actually creating these problems by the way we feed our cats. It's time to change the way we think about cat care and see the world through our cat's eyes. Cats are predators. For a cat, hunting and eating go hand in hand. And cats are crepuscular hunters. That means they do most of their hunting at dawn and dusk. In nature, cats spend about 80% of their waking hours hunting for food. This is their built-in exercise. They go through a series of behaviors called the seeking circuit. They hunt, catch, and play with many small meals a day. Did you know that your cat's stomach is only the size of a ping pong ball? That's about the size of a mouse. Cats are designed to hunt many small meals a day. There's been so much debate over what's best to feed cats. Wet food, dry food, raw food. But now you can see that how we feed our cats is just as important as what we feed our cats. Our cats' bodies are overnourished, and their predatory instincts are starved. Cats are hunters, and feeding them from a bowl is doing nothing to meet this essential feline need. And it's actually making them physically and mentally unwell. I used all of the principles of how cats eat in nature to create Doc and Phoebe's indoor hunting feeder, the bowl-free, natural way to feed cats that's making cats happier and healthier. In each kit, you get a portion filler, a trainer, and three mice. Instead of filling that bowl twice a day, you simply use the portion filler and put one scoop in each of the three mice and hide them morning and night. Let me show you how to get started. To introduce your cat, start with the trainer. The trainer allows your cat to see and smell the food inside, and it dispenses really easily. Put a scoop of kibble and your cat's favorite treat into the trainer at bedtime. Pick up the bowl and go to bed. Now your cat gets to explore that trainer in private. You'll know it was a success when you wake up in the morning to an empty trainer. Once your cat has mastered the trainer, it's time to move on and lose the bowl. Fill the three mice with your cat's regular food and favorite treats, and pick up the food dish and put the mice in its place. Give your cat some time to explore the feeders. If your cat's unable to dispense the food, simply tip one over to dispense it. Do that periodically throughout the day. Repeat morning and night, putting down three filled mice twice a day, until your cat is successfully using the feeders. Now it's time for the hunt. Begin like you're hiding an Easter egg for a two-year-old. As your cat's hunting skills develop, your hiding places will get harder and harder. The feeder itself is designed to be a high reward device to prevent failure and frustration. The level of difficulty is increased with the hiding space. With a little patience, every cat can do it. Meet Elise.
So, let's talk about why this works. In the beginning of this presentation, I used the term scarf and barf. If you're not familiar with the term or have never experienced it, consider yourself lucky. When some cats are presented with a large bowl of food, they just can't resist and they gobble up a huge portion. But remember, a cat's stomach is only the size of a ping pong ball and nature takes its course here and rejects the portion of undigested food. Voila, scarf and barf. Scarf and barf disappears when a cat hunts for the perfect portion of food in three mice, morning and night. One of the most obvious problems with modern life for our cats is obesity. Now that you understand the natural feeding behavior of cats, it's easy to see that bowl feeding is a far cry from what feeds a cat's natural instincts. Did you know that 60% of cats in America are overweight or obese? And obesity is dangerous. It not only makes cats lethargic, but an obese cat has a four times greater risk of developing diabetes. In addition, a middle-aged cat is 2.7 times more likely to die than a cat that has a healthy body weight. Bowl feeding promotes lethargy. Hunting is your cat's built-in exercise. I hear people say, my cat's lazy, it won't hunt. This is a very common misperception. Your cat is lazy and depressed because it's not hunting, and it's time to reverse this behavior. We now know that it's normal and natural for a cat to do most of their hunting at dawn and dusk. The dusk part works pretty well with our schedule, but the dawn part, not so much. Without the option to hunt for food, it makes perfect sense that a cat is finding another early morning option. At 5 a.m., your cat's gonna hunt you. The solution is to hide Doc and Phoebe's feeders before you go to bed. At 5 a.m., your cat will be hunting its mice and you get to sleep. And when our cats can't hunt, it makes them anxious and can even make them sick. Anxiety can become aggression. This pent-up need gets directed towards other household cats or humans, or the destruction of objects like drapes or furniture. Anxiety can even become sickness. Anxiety might be the reason that your cat isn't using the litter box, and even why it has skin disease. It's hard to believe that all of this can come from a bowl, but it does. When a cat isn't able to be a cat, the consequences can be very serious. Our cats are acting out as a result of this stress. They're trying to tell us something. Until now, we have not been hearing them. Instead of listening and giving them what they need, we get upset with their behavior. And over time, this can break the bond that we have with our cats. We just can't take it anymore. This has life-threatening consequences. The number one cause of death for cats in America is euthanasia. Why? Well, when we're at the end of our rope, we send our cats back to the shelter. And most of these cats don't get adopted. They're euthanized. This is shocking and heartbreaking and true. This is why I invented Doc and Phoebe's indoor hunting feeder. You see, when we give our cats back the ability to meet their innate needs inside the home, we can improve their behavior and even prevent this from happening. It's time to start treating the number one cause of death for cats. Top veterinarians and behaviorists in the world agree. We need a system to wean cats off the bowl. We need to understand that a cat is a solitary hunter. They want to hunt and eat alone. We need to create a way for a cat to hunt, catch, and play with their prey before eating it. We need to provide multiple hunting opportunities day and night. And our cats need portion control. Sounds like a lot, right? No, actually, 
it's easy. With Doc and Phoebe's indoor hunting feeder, you can finally feed your cat the right way twice a day. Because when our cats are happier and healthier, that means we are too.